I'm just asking for your opinion. Be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well, speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. What happened? Oh, we had a couple of cocktails. Had a bit of a uh, dominoes. What about you, Nick? You were right, Nick. Kellogg did have no son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. No, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory. No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. Look, <laughs> Nick didn't like that. I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. How long? Huh. Whatever you're thinking, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Yeah. Figures the Institute's only man on the outside wouldn't be the type to be taken alive. So, a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. It doesn't matter what he knew. I'd kill him again in a heartbeat. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brain. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. We live the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happen. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it would be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. Mama. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is gonna work. Jesus, Nick. Bro, seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads, nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth. So, who's coming? I have to go to the memory den either way. I'm going to introduce you to Omari. If you want to hit... It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Don't Let's worry. Let's get going, partner. We're going to get you. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. Oh my god, I'm level 8 and I'm halfway through the campaign. I'm joking. I'm not ready. Actually, I think we are. Oh my god. <laughs> It'll be amazing if we are. Right, I'm having that, because that could be a tricky problem sometimes. Piper. You know, the Institute has a lot of energy. The Minutemen tangled with them once. The railroad still does. I've even got some notes on the new guys. The Brotherhood of Steel. That Brotherhood airship is hard to miss. Yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel doesn't do subtle. From what I've heard, they take whatever they want. Especially if it's high tech. They just might have the muscle to... Tell me about the Minutemen. You know that group you rescued and conquered? As far as I know... They're the last Minutemen left in the Commonwealth. They used to be a volunteer army dedicated to 
protecting friends. All right, I can't be asked right. Fuck this. Sounds soft. Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Piper, well, move. You need anything too, Fred? Why are you such a bitch? Move. Move. I was gonna shoot a fucking fuck. You understand me? Nah, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't know why you talk about uh, Valentine like that. Pretty sure Valentine would rape you, you know. I don't. I don't mean as in like literally rape. I mean like fucking. Shank. Yeah, I'm just gonna say Shank instead of rip. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think we're coming up to the ending soon. I'm joking. I'm joking by the way. We've got ages left. Uh let me let me just think. I what I want to say out, don't we? No spoiler alert. Yeah, we're almost to the end. Oh there you were. Because when we fought Kellogg, that was like in the middle, I think. All we gotta do is do a couple of more missions after this. I swear, like, it's time consuming, but I, I don't care. I'm, do I'm doing these every day. Obviously, I'm not uploading them every day because waste of fucking time. I uploaded two yet. I uploaded two yesterday. Oh, fuck. Um, t by the way, today's currently the 18th. So I got my desk yesterday and that, and I can't remember what episodes I put up yesterday. If we, I think we're in the eighth episode and I've only uploaded like the fourth. Right, we're gonna have to get our AP points up. Let's do this. Action points, I know, don't we? Right. Oh, the lag. Oh, here's the film of him. The driver hold of steel, shoot me. Peasant. <laughs> Trinity Plaza. Nick. Yeah, as I was saying before, like in the last couple of episodes, and um, I'll, I'm gonna do a let's play on the DLC. I'm gonna save. I just know something. Oh, um, I'm, I'm gonna do a let's play on the DLC, that's why I wanna push all these episodes out. As soon as I'm done with this, I think I'm just gonna unprivate all of them. Oh my god, right, honestly, the lag is real. Stop, focus. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die by my hand. Oh my god. Why is there so much lag? What the fuck is going on? I don't know if this is uploaded. Is, uh, I don't know if this is what because I'm uploading another video. Oh, it's just fucking fallout. Oh, okay. Go away. Oh my god. I'm getting pissed off now. Oh, but now I'm getting stuck in an, an invisible bloke. Don't even bother trying to shoot me. Hi, how are you? Look at it! Look at the lag! It's hurting my eyes, it's lagging that much.
I need a new PS4. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Uh. Oh, good neighbor. Uh, uh, uh. Let me in. Let me in before the lag takes over. Jesus. I honestly, though, the lag on that. Fucking embarrassing. <laughs> honestly, though, why is there so much lag? Is it because it's a Bethesda game? Because I remember a lot. I remember Fallout from the. Oh, I just plugged me fucking. Ugh. Sorry. I remember. Um, Bef I remember Fallout. Free being well, well, quite laggy. It's the detective tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress. Why? Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new. What's it to you? Gotta know who's backing who and good neighbor. I ain't never seen you before. Maybe you're in the market. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Nick Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Huh? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's got to make a point sometimes. You all right? You killed him. Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. I feel you, homie. Of the people, for the people? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna like you already. Just consider this town your home away from home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Well, well, Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten.